This is the right way to do it. This is the wrong way to do it. Now this is gonna stay on the hook. This is gonna come right off with one or two bites, it's gone. How do I do this? I'm gonna show you right now. Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode. Today we are here in Florida fishing on the beaches. I'm with my friend Gokhan and he has his own YouTube channel and we're both making a really great video today. The question is, wait, where is my, where is it? Do you have the thread? <laughs> we're gonna be using this thread, which is called magic thread. It's this elasticy thread that you use to wrap around your soft baits and it's supposedly supposed to really keep your bait on your hook without the baits coming off. And I've been recommended this by all of our fans, all of our supporters. They keep, they keep telling me that, you know, if you use this, you'll stop losing so much bait. I never listened to them until now. Let's give this a try and see how it works. Holds it on tighter. See? If... I thought you have to tie it. Yeah, that's the nice part about this string is it's elastic. You see, it stretches feeling. Oh. Yeah. It's like tiny strings in your underwear. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's like the underwear thread. <laughs> the underwear thread. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna give it a cast. This one, I'm gonna cast it in close, not too far. My longer ones, I'll cast farther. So without this, a lot of times the shrimp just flies right off, sometimes even when I cast it. But when fish peck at it, it comes off really easily. So I'm gonna tie these down. And this is a new thing that I've started to use because my fans have been recommending it and I've found it to be awesome. It works really well. It holds my shrimp on really nicely. This is gonna come off so easy. Okay, it gonna, feels like too big. I think what we need to do here is peel it. I'm gonna peel it first. And because the mouths are not very big, the mouths are very small. That's okay with that. Oh, okay. Okay, you try using the thread this time. Yep. Just 
see, look, this is it wrapped up here. This is not wrapped down here. I'm gonna wrap the bottom one too. I think we should do some unwrapped. Okay. So this one I'll leave unwrapped. This top one I'll leave wrapped, okay? So this one I'll give it a cast out there. See if there's any fish. Something ate the bottom one. Yeah, this is gone. But this is still on here. Yeah, I think I would put another one on there. Okay, I'll remove this one and test it again. And you, you have the, your bait still? Mine, my bait, my bottom one is gone. My top one is still there. I got a big rod right here. This is my steel leader line. If anything with sharp teeth bites it, I'll still catch the fish. And what I'm gonna put on here is whatever I catch on these other rods. I'll use that for bait. perfect one for for me oh yeah yeah you can catch this on your spoon too careful it has sharp teeth have you caught this before no they have really sharp teeth they we can bite your finger off oh yeah yeah so be careful like this size not this size okay a little bit big, bigger ones that can really hurt you but you see it bit the one with the color float on it yeah the float it looks like a There are more colorful ones sometimes. You see the yellow one, oh, okay. there's purple, there's pink. So it's acting like that? Yeah. Grabs more attention? Grabs more attention, that's right. Oh, you want to keep it alive, right? Yeah, I'm going to keep it alive and I'm going to use a drone to come out. Gokun brought a aerator, thank goodness, because we can keep the bluefish alive. While I set up my other big, my rod. big fish rod, I'll hook it right through the mouth like this. Just like that. And I've got a sinker right here that's going to hold it down into the sand. Okay, we're going to drop it out there probably a quarter of a mile. Ready? Now I'm watching my line and making sure it doesn't run out of line. 
I'm gonna drop it around 250 meters here. Maybe 300. Okay, it looks like I'm running out of line. I'm gonna stop it here. Payload left, dropping the bluefish. Okay, it looks like I dropped it. Now, return home. Now the drone should be coming back home to me now. Oh, by itself. So by itself. Nope. Manually. It comes home through GPS. Now I'm gonna tighten up the line to make sure that it's anchored down deep, okay? Then I'm gonna loosen the drag. So if anything pulls it, we'll hear it. Yeah. Right? Because if you do it so tight, it might snap, right? It might snap or it might take my whole rod into the water. I know that much. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my gosh, it's so soft. I don't know how that's gonna work. I don't think that's gonna work. Just try it with the elastic thread. Okay, this one's less soft, but still very soft. Okay, and then the shrimp is less soft, but it's still pretty soft. I like to peel them. And those are our baits right now. We've got a mussel that's live and a shrimp that's fresh dead. Let's go put it on our hook. Okay, for the mussel, we're going to put it through the mussel. Hook it through as many times as we can. Okay, so now I'm just going to keep wrapping this up. It's very delicate, but I'd imagine this is a very sweet meat that anything is going to want to get their mouths on. Oh yeah, it's holding well. It's holding well, y'all. There we go. Oh, and that's not moving. Look. It's good. It's good. Let's hope it's a whiting. Let's hope. I want to see some variety here. Whoa! Keep popping out! <gasps> Stop Whoa. it! That's keeper! That's a keeper! Wow, Brendan! That's a good one! <gasps> Did it, bite? it bit the shrimp. That's a keeper size one. Beautiful fish. This is called a pompano. I heard they are tasty. Very, very tasty. Very prized eating fish. And it yeah. fit on that magic thread shrimp. Yep. Let's see. Look, and the thread is still on there. The bait is still on here. Amazing. This is actually one of the best eating fish out there. Really happy to have caught this because we're going to cook this one up tonight. They're biting. If there's one, there's more than one. So I'm using this waterproof bait box and I use it for all of my baits my salted baits, my sinkers, everything, because it keeps it from getting waterlogged and it also keeps it from getting like crushed. These are our baits, our specialty baits. These are our clams and these are our shrimps. Now these shrimps are preserved, so they don't go bad and they're also a lot tougher. This is our salted bait right here. And since it's so tough, I don't need to use any of the magic thread. I just hook it on once and it's ready to go. Is 
Patreon. That's a fish. And believe it or not, he does not know how to fillet his own fish. And I'm going to show him right now. And for those of you who don't know how to fillet your own fish, this is a good opportunity for you to learn. Hmm. It's actually a lot simpler than you think. This is good bait, right? This is good bait, but you can also fillet it to eat to eat this way. Bluefish have no regulation size. Oh. Ready? So first, you're going to make the first cut right here. Right behind the right fin. behind the fin. You see this like that? Okay. Mm -hmm. Then next, you're going to put it in here. And you're gonna cut along the spine like this. See? All the way into the tail. Then we cut a slit on the tail like this. Now the second half, we're gonna cut down like this. Now we're at the rib cage right here. You don't want the rib cage. There. See that? Now that's one side. Now to get the skin off, you're gonna cut like this. And bring the knife sideways like this. There. Mm. And then that is your fillet. And the rest of it for your cat. <laughs> the rest for your <laughs> cat or dog. <laughs> Okay, so actually, he has about 500,000 subscribers as well. Yeah. So together we have over a million subscribers. Over a million Found subscribers it. There we together. go. <laughs> What's your channel about? So my channel is about usually United States, but mostly my funny Uber rides or like interesting Uber rides. Interesting Uber rides. Okay. Yeah, I, I love it. So you specialize in like Uber rides. People, Uber rides. Okay, yeah. that's so funny. <laughs> you must meet a lot of weird people, huh? Oh yeah, so, really funny so people. many interesting stories. What's your channel name? It's under my name, Gokhan Onad. Okay, like, we'll put a link. That would be easier, yeah. With we'll just link. put a link in the description below. Yeah. He's got a really funny channel. I suggest you guys check out his channel. Yeah, um, and I'm an amateur fisher. I love the fish, but this is the first time I'm catching this big fish. I caught two pelicans before uh, <laughs> at the Skyway Fishing Pier in Hey, Tampa. you caught the smallest fish today. I've never oh, seen yeah. anyone catch a small fish that small before. <laughs> That's a pretty good job. That's true. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> I've learned a lot of things today about fishing, about the sun, and everything. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, no problem. See, that rig works pretty well. Yeah, I like it. And you don't have to tie it yourself. Oh, it's... Whoa, 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 whoa. That's, whoa, a, whoa, whoa. that's whoa. a big one. Pompano! I put a plan on there. I put muscle on there. I think it's a pompano. It's a pompano. I hope so. I'm fighting different, right? Fish, 
three bluefish at one time. You got one? How'd it go? Woo. That was a lot of fish. That was a lot of fish, and the magic thread and the salted baits works really well. And if you want to stop losing all of your bait, I suggest you either use the preserved baits or you use this magic thread because the magic thread really keeps your bait stuck onto your hook. And when there's a lot of fish, it's a real big pain to keep losing your bait to small little fish. You want to catch the ones that are bigger, the ones that you can keep, the ones that you can use for bait. Our own hand-tied rigs are all custom-made, hand-tied, so that you guys can just tie it right onto your rod, go to the beach, and just start catching fish right away. If you want to start catching fish like us, I suggest you get yourself one of our Supreme Bundles. The Supreme Bundles comes with rigs, it comes with bait, it comes with everything you need to start catching fish right away. The best part about these rigs is you can keep using them over and over again. And this is one of the rigs that I've been using for the past three sessions. Don't have to worry about tying your own stuff. You can just tie it right on, come to the beach, start catching fish. So we caught one fish that we really want to eat. It's the pompano. So we're going to take that home right now, cook it up, and have a really great dinner. So join us back at home. So I'm back at the house. I've got my family over visiting, and this is the perfect time for us to make some fish for everyone to eat together. So I've butterflied this fish right here. This is the whiting. Okay. And I've just gutted and cleaned this pompano. Now we're gonna put these on the grill. And I've got a really special sauce we're gonna put on top after it's done grilling. And this will be a really delicious meal. And if you guys wanna learn more, I made a brand new cookbook that has been highly requested from all of you guys. If you wanna check it out, it's called Catching and Cooking. It's on our website right now. But let's get these on the grill. That fish looks great. The meat looks good. Yep. Do you want, do you, do you, are you going to eat this? Or do you want to eat some more? Oh, he's getting chicken. Yeah, he likes chicken. Very pleased. Yeah, I'll, I'll stay in the corner. That's okay. 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 Mm. Because it's of the fire. Should I sit here? Yeah, fish. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, this. No, it's too cold for her. I like this. Brendan's gonna I sit there. I can still sit next to you, okay? How's that? Is that okay? Yeah, yeah, y'all close to each other. All right, try it. All right, Uncle Bo, try try the fish and try the steak. Let's see what you think. Mm. Good? Fish is perfect. Mm. Awesome. So well cooked. Wow. Mmm, fish is nice. Little meat too. Very buttery. Cherry sauce inside. I love the cherry sauce. Yeah, you're supposed to. It's like it's our canyon. Right? I love it. It's supposed to be like eating fish and chicken. Mmm. Look at look at the other thing. I know.